and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be unboxing the March 2024 um, Archer and Olive subscription box. I have been waiting months to get on the list for this. I was so excited to get this box. I really wanted to be surprised but then I saw the blog with some of the spoilers and I was looking at it and then they came out with their spoiler video prior to the actual shipping of the boxes and I was like no don't I'm going to watch this just to be absolutely certain that I want to spend the money on this box this is a $75 box plus whatever taxes your state has and like and twelve dollars shipping something like that so anyways this box is absolutely stunning and i cannot wait to get into it i am sure that i am going to be just as awestruck opening it in person as i was seeing it on the screen uh so without further ado let's just get into it um the box itself is gorgeous we have a quiet walk outside, feel the ground beneath your feet, and observe the plant life all around you. Imagine all they have felt, seen, and heard. If only they could tell you their stories, no matter the season, there is life to breathe in and messages along your path. It's up to you to realize and record these notes from nature, which is the theme. Oh, in all its glory. Absolutely adore this. Uh, notes from nature. There are always flowers for those who want to see them. Henry Matisse. Beautiful card. All the information about the items on the back. And let's just start digging in. We'll go with this first, which is the fountain pen. And I cannot say enough about how amazing their packaging is. It is just, it's stunning. And this is the fountain pen. And I have not used one of these in a very, very long time. So it's probably gonna take some time to get used to it, but you fill your ink in here. Or I believe you can dip it and fill it too. Um, I'll have to look into that more, but that's the pen. And we have our fountain pen ink. Such a pretty box. Everything is intact. Gorgeous. You can't really see the colors very well just looking through the glass maybe the green a little bit at least I can in my lighting I'm not sure if you can on the screen but those are the colors so we've got kind of like this uh, almost navy blue this kind of turqu turquoise or teal teal I would say blue green and then this really pretty like kind of grassy green color and the bottles are just beautiful too for display this will last a very, very long time. And then we have got the acrylographs in Calla Lily, Antique Ivory, Shady Lane, English Clover, and Deep Ivy. And I'm going to see if I can find a piece of paper to test these out on. All right, so there are the colors. So we have the Calla Lily, the Antique Ivory, the Shady Lane, the English Clover, not English Ivy. I was reading the color for this one while I was writing this one. Um, and then the Deep Ivy. Um, the one thing that I don't like about the acrylographs is sometimes they kind of splatter a little bit when you're writing with them. I don't know if you can see that. It tip kind of catches on the paper. Um, and maybe I just need a different paper. This is just a cheap, like, crafting scrap of paper. Um, so maybe I need a more higher quality paper. But anyways, very pretty colors, right up my alley. Love them. And to know it does come with color labels for you to put on your pens. 
Next, we have this box here. This is the, yep, the ruler. And I really like the edge on this ruler as a decorative element for journaling. And the pattern is really, really pretty as well. It's a simple acrylic ruler with a little leafy pattern. So there is just a sample of the washi tapes and the pattern does keep going. There is more to it than this. I just didn't want to use all of it on, you know, these last couple sheets of paper in this journal. Save it for something fun. This one's really cool too because you can cut out these separate little sections for different things in your book. You little labels and such for your specimens perhaps. Very pretty. And then we have label sticker sets. And of note, please don't mind my coffee table here. This is turned into a coffee table slash crafting table slash work table. It just it gets a lot of. Uh, a lot of use and the kids have colored on it and I'm pretty sure I've gotten paint splatter on it and all sorts of stuff. So here are our stickers. We have two sheets of the same. We've got like these little pressed flower stickers and some labels, embrace the journey into the unknown. And now I have a song stuck in my head. Uh, nature's magic is all around. Wild spirit, nature's colors, paint, joy daily. Nurture your plans. Very, very pretty. And these are nice feeling too. I like the feel of those stickers. And now, last but not least, probably the best part of the box, the journals. So this is dot grid, 160 ultra thick GSM pages in a B6 size and look how gorgeous 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 these boxes are and these go on my shelf in the box look how beautiful that is I like this size too it's kind of like a variegated green on the back with the vegan leather or what is stuck to the thing there, some like glue or something. The beautiful spine, the gilding, absolutely gorgeous. Love it, just regular white pages. And again, I'm not a bullet journaler. I am definitely more of a writer and kind of art journaler so that is what these will be getting used for for me and then let's see what's this one so this is the sketchbook 112 ultra thick 160 gsm craft pages this is the one that i am most excited for a5 soft cover field notebook again gorgeous Gorgeous box. Ah, look at it. Look at how beautiful. And they did say that this will soften up over time because it is a little on the stiff side, but I love this. I absolutely adore this. This is amazing. Go sit outside and do some 
sketches out back of my chickens. Absolutely beautiful. I love the color of the ribbon too. It's kind of like brownish, goldish, orangish, very um, autumn colors for the spring, but love it. So, so pretty. And I just started getting back into sketching. Um, I did a lot of art in high school and I just kind of lost it over time. And it's amazing how when you don't use the skills, you lose them. So I've been practicing and this will come in handy for sure. And on to the last one. This beautiful, almost like seafoamy green. All right, so dark red notebook, 192 ultra thick. Uh, this is the A5 Naturalist Notebook. Oh my god. It's even more beautiful in person. I can't even. And it's so soft. The bossing. Building the spine, and it, it just it feels amazing, it's stunning, absolutely stunning notebook. The deckled edges. I kind of wish they had gone with um, a darker page on this one too. Maybe not the craft, but so pretty on the inside. Maybe more of a creamier color. I guess it is kind of a creamier color, but even creamier than that would have been very nice. But either way, this is an absolutely gorgeous notebook. And I have no idea what I'm going to do with all of them, but we are going to just be writing, writing our hearts out for sure. So beautiful. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait to get started in some of these. I'll probably start in the sketchbook right away. Put the other two, you know, aside for a later date um, because I do have another journal in line after I finish writing in this one, which has one page left now. Um, but yeah, so that was the Archer and Olive March 2024 box. As of right now of the filming of this video, I believe they do still have some left, um, but they are doing a warehouse change right now. So if you order now, you're not gonna be getting anything shipped out till April. Just be aware of that. Um, and then, you know, if you don't get on this time, then wait till next time when they open up boxes. Um, this is a quarterly box. So you're not going to be getting, you know, journals like this every single month. I don't think anybody could possibly use that many journals. Maybe there's somebody out there. It's not me. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Um, I'll leave a link to Archer and Olive down below. Uh, it's not an affiliate link or anything like that. This is not a sponsored video. I bought this for myself. Um, happy birthday to me next week. And yeah, so give me a like, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and I will see you next time. Thank you. Bye.